Welcome to ASEC Conversations. Today, our topic is the Lori Paestua National Native American Games presented by APS and the Arizona Office of Tourism. Joining us is Percy Paestua, Lori's mother and game ambassador, and Lori's children, Brandon and Carla. At this time, I'd like to introduce our host, Ashley Hammett. Ashley? Thank you, Denise. And thank you, Percy, for joining us today. Were you in favor and supportive of Lori when she decided to join the military? Well, actually, she came to us one day, to my husband and I. She asked if, if she went in the military, if we would take care of her children. And, you know, as a parent, your job is to encourage and support the decisions that your kids make. She was having difficulties in her marriage when her husband was stationed in Fort Bragg and the kids were in Fort Bragg with their mom and dad. And when they, when he um, served his term, he came, they came home and they separated. She came home to us and he went back to his parents and was not financially helping her or anything with the kids. So this was what she wanted to do to be able to help her kids, support her kids. And she knew in the long run, she would have educational benefits. Can I jump in for just a second and ask the, the children, you know, what do you remember the most about your mom? What resonates with you today? I, know, I believe that growing up, you had to like laugh, be silly or enjoy life. Just right. because, enjoy the little moments. <laughs> so I always remember like either like playing with my mom's like uniform and stuff, trying on her helmet and just like the little tiny stuff like that is what I remember the most. What does it mean to you, all three of you, and the rest of your family to have a Phoenix Mountain and Freeway, as well as an annual event named in Lori's honor? It's amazing. And I thank Ernest and the, and the uh, other committee members who work so hard to make sure that memorial happens every year. Um, and I thank Janet Napolitano for bringing it up. When she first brought it up, my older son said, no, we, you know, no, we don't want to. And then once it was renamed, we wanted everybody to know that it wasn't just for Lori, but for all the veterans, for all those who have put their lives on the line for us so we can have the freedoms that we have. Today, the world faces a different battle with the COVID-19 pandemic. How is that affecting the Native American population here in Arizona? From the news, because we're not right there on the reservation, from the news, it, it seems to be spreading really, really rampant. Um, so, you know, I don't, I, it's like everywhere else. I guess it plays, it goes from one place to the other and it spreads and then it dies down. But it is, it is going pretty rampant on the reservation. I wanted to talk a little bit more about uh, the Lori Piastua National Native American Games and when you think about the event as a whole, not only just for the uh, participants, but those that come to watch, the attendees, what is the biggest takeaway that you hope they get from that experience? Well, the one thing I like, like I said, athletics and everything growing up has shaped me to the person who I am. And so I learned like a lot of moral values, teamwork, integrity, and just being, just having those good morals. And so despite like the conflicts we have like within a game, within like like the dirty plays, if not like the good plays, like we'll learn from that. We'll learn to overcome that and we'll learn to like use that in real world like examples. And so that's just like, like sports. That's how it teaches us is real world examples. And so that's what I just want the kids, the, each athletic um, participant to witness as that. But also just like, like the, to play to love the game, to play to have fun. So mm -hmm. that, that's what I love about the games the most. <laughs> and first thing, I think like Brandon said that the main thing I want the kids to get from the games is that they learn sportsmanship. We come together, different ethnic backgrounds, we all come together and we, and we have fun and we're like one big family. It's our like a one little United Nations of everybody coming together to have fun. Everybody coming together. Yes, there's rules. Yes, there's gonna be somebody who gets 
irritate it. But in the long run, it's all for fun. It's all in honor of glory. Yeah, absolutely. And it's it's amazing that, I mean, really, these games are the largest of their kind in the country. You have over 3,000 participants, 17,000 um, spectators, and you have 50 plus tribes that um, come to compete. So I think that really speaks to Lori and, and her spirit and that of our military in general, don't you think? Right, right. And, and, and we all do it in a fun way situation in a, in a family type situation, which goes back to the COVID. If we can all work together, if we can all do the prevention, if we can all follow the rules that are laid down for us. And, and I know we have no idea how long it's going to last, mm -hmm. but if we are tolerable and, and do what we're asked to do, I think it will help stop mm -hmm. it. If you had one word that you would use that describes Lori and these games, how they're tied together, what would that word be? Accolades would be the word that I would use and because the definition is an award or privilege granted as a special honor or as an acknowledgement of merit, an expression of praise or admiration. The praise and admiration is not just for Lori, not just for the veterans, but for each and every participant who is willing to come and compete. That's wonderful. I just had one more question, Ashley, uh, for the Piastawas, and um, really for Percy, for you, um, was it last year that you climbed Piastawa Peak for the very <laughs> first time? Can you tell us about that? <laughs> Actually, um, Joe, Joe was my inspiration. <laughs> he, 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 was, he was my host. Um, they get me uh, a, Joe Horgan was yeah. her host. <laughs> they get me a host since, since I lost Terry, they get me a host. Well, they've always gotten us a host, but since I lost Joe, Terry, um, which was almost three years ago, they get me a host to kind of shuttle us around and take me where I need to be. And he says, oh, let's do this. Oh, let's do that. So he says, so I actually, this was also the first year I did the fun run because Joe inspired me to do oh, the fun wow. run. And we did that on Saturday. All the kids ran it. And then he says, hey, do you want to climb Piazza Peak? He said, I'll go with you. I said, sure, I'll go. <laughs> and I asked the kids, I said, hey, you guys, do you want to climb the peak tomorrow at five o'clock in the morning? And they all go, are you crazy? <laughs> It was like 105 and <laughs> and so and so Joe and his wife and um, Myra's nephew and I did our trek up the thing. I had gone up about three quarters of the way one other time, but Terry couldn't Terry couldn't go any higher, so we came back down. But um, we made it to the top. <laughs> Congratulations. And thank you. And I just turned 72 in November. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, happy belated birthday. And that is quite the accomplishment. Thank you. So I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Okay. We certainly appreciate you taking the time to join us today. Yes, um, thank you. We are so honored to help run um, the Lori Piastua National Native American Games. It is so important to our entire community. And as you said, um, we're not only, only honoring Lori, but all of our military. And that is so important that we do that so that we celebrate the freedoms that we all have. So thank you again for joining us. And for all that are watching, thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time on ASCC Conversations.